coyote is a species of canine native to North America. It's smaller than its close relative, the wolf. But I'm sure you knew that, considering it's on Wikipedia. Let's see how the fur kickers tackle the task of fooling old wily coyote into taking one step too many. You wake up early each morning. Your drive and desire is second to no one. You fight vigorous conditions. You're trying to catch an animal that can walk anywhere they want to, but you hope they take one step too many. The days are long and the nights even longer. You understand the reward doesn't cash out like it once did. You do it not for the glory, but for the love of the art. You respect the game you target. You pass down the tradition and you educate the non-believers. You're a fur kicker, just like us. Coyotes are naturally afraid of humans, but as they get used to living with humans, they get less and less fearful and they can become aggressive. I don't know about you, but I don't want my poodle to be ate by a coyote while I'm at work. So that's just one good reason we need to control the coyote population. When these animals get into small towns and even cities, they can run havoc on a neighborhood and start causing problems. The little old lady down the street, she once had her cat ate by a coyote, but we'll save that story for another day. <coughs> coyotes in the Midwest are very different than coyotes in the East, where the guys are from. A Kentucky or a Pennsylvania coyote's fur isn't as thick as a Kansas coyote. Typically, Kansas or Western coyotes are more plentiful, making it a target-rich environment for a fur kicker. And that makes trapping fun. This is pretty cool. The last set, last check. I just set these yesterday, and I'm using a stingray bait, and I had just stingray and um, a little bit of deep six right here from Fur Life, and I uh, got that nice, I'm going to say it's a young female, but uh, pretty awesome uh, way to end the, today's check. So we're going to dispatch it, and I'm going to show you the remake. But uh, this will be Cammie's first coyote. She's doing the filming. I'm going to let her dispatch it. And i um, pretty excited right now. The time of year can dictate a fur kicker's choice in baits and even trapping techniques. Early season when food is abundant, the guys like to trap the field edges, areas close to thickets where coyotes' prey might live. A flat set or a blind set can be effective in these transitional areas. As the pack hunts, it's common to get doubles or even triples if you have enough traps out. The guys typically will put a pair of traps at each location in hopes of getting a double. We're right behind my buddy's house, so he's bringing his boys down here to check this out. But uh, we got a back foot on that one and a real good front foot on that one, so must have leaned right in there to get that whiff of that stuff, so super pumped. Later in the fall, as colder weather hits, coyotes are searching for food, Corey likes to use a big dirt hole set with good bait to attract even the smartest coyote. First, boy, that is a pretty one. Yeah. Yeah, just a barely on a toe catch on that one, so we're going to get a dispatch and we'll take a better look at it. Great start, first check this morning. Beautiful coyote. Because they're so smart, and traditionally, they're hard to catch. So when a plan comes together, it's much more rewarding. Coyotes are smart and sometimes will create problems for even the best fur kicker. Perseverance and patience are sometimes your best way to outsmart the coyote. Well, today's Brody's birthday and uh, we got a raccoon and just got a beautiful blonde coyote female. Um, got this trail comes down through here. I got a dirt hole over the hill here about 15 yards and I uh, just put a little lure right here and some gland, uh, gland lure and some urine right here. Probably put some scat right here. It's a great spot. Jump over that log, come in here. Wind's blowing right this way, and uh, it's 
it's a good little set. So just got the remake done. We'll take a look at uh, the coyote, but uh, I want to wish my boy a happy birthday who's behind the camera today, helping me out on the line. Seven degrees out today. Um, it's been a tough couple of days with this uh, transition to super cold weather, but we're getting it done. As the winter months hit and the breeding begins, a good gland lure will really help. Adding urine and gland lure can fool a horny coyote or even a coyote just searching for a mate. The gland lure will also entice the female to work your set. Now don't be afraid to add a few gland lures at your location to make that coyote believe multiple coyotes are in the area. Now let's face it, when you go to a bar looking for love, you're not always attracted to the first one you see. <laughs> yeah, that's right. My favorite sets. So, I punched a hole out. I'm gonna go up and get this really tall brown grass. Um, and I'm gonna stick it there. I'm gonna put a little gland lure and a little urine there and that's it. Uh, he's got some scat here. I'll probably remove it and take it to another farm. There's enough scent around here to bring another coyote in. We knew there was two coyotes on this farm. We've trapped both of them. Um, but I'm sure there's other ones that come through. So, uh, but what I'll do is, I'll go get a little bit more grass like that. And then I bend it up to make it solid. And we'll stick it right in the hole, just like that. That is the most effective deal I've got going right now. A little urine, little gland lure, and uh, you're good to go. Three days, caught three animals in this set. We had a, a feral cat, which we left go, and two days in a row we got coyotes. Corey loves this set. You know, he says it's a main attractor for him. He's putting urine on it. It's like fire hydrant to, to a coyote. You know, they're coming in, they're smelling it, they're, they're making their mark on it. That trap's sitting there, they don't know it's there, and they come out of these woods and hang these banks and hang the curve around the wood line boom got them. now this set works for me i put a little bit of gland a little bit of urine on that grass that we we put down in the hole and um i just wait because sooner or later i will catch a coyote in this set kansas is corey's favorite place to enjoy trapping he spends months chasing after coyotes on farms that need thinned out beautiful coyote we'll get a remake and move on but uh looks like a great dog very sad day for me pulling the last farm here jesse and i did good between cammy and brody and i we got probably 40 to 45 coyotes and half a dozen cats and some badgers and i don't know how many possums and coons it's been a great uh, great season here in kansas not only for whitetails but for trapping as well so we're going to go down here and we'll pull my last couple sets and uh, Brody and I are going to head back and probably head to Tennessee for the, for the last of it here in February. I love Kansas for trapping. It's full of fur, badgers, coyotes, bobcats, raccoons. It's all there and it's a lot of fun to trap. Good front foot catch. All right. Oh, it's like got a little rub on his back. Something ate it. Something, or somebody shot it or something. Pretty cool when you're driving in on a farm and you can see a coyote bouncing around at your set. I just had said to Jesse, driving down the road, finally got the right wind for this set right here. and Got a nice coyote. Unfortunately, our guess is um, somebody had wounded him. Um, he's got a big old spot i thought maybe it was fresh that they'd driven down the road and shot but as jesse pointed out it's got a lot of black on it that's a shame because that would that coyote would have been worth a few dollars but uh with that hole there it ain't gonna be worth anything now many people frown on video or photos of a coyote in a trap but they need to understand these animals are not being hurt while they're being trapped it's like being handcuffed yeah, sure, they hop around when you walk up to them the first time, but that's because they haven't had a close encounter with a human and they just want to get away. But typically after a few minutes, well, they, they calm down. Educating non-believers about this is extremely important. 99% of the time we walk up to a trap and if there's an animal in it, we quickly dispatch it. Um, but there are times where we want to take some photos uh, or even some videos of that animal in the trap. 
Both Corey and Cody enjoy trapping coyotes for many reasons. Trapping coyotes can be fun and rewarding. And once again, the prices of their fur varies from coast to coast, but don't worry about fur prices. We just got the coyote out. Uh, it's a nice, nice male coyote. You get, get really good furs, no rub. That's what you look for. They get crossing under these fences and stuff, they'll rub, but this here will make a pretty nice pelt. So we'll get it home cleaned up, dry it up, skin it out, send it to the market. Grab a few traps, lure, bait, a trapping license, and head out and explore the many opportunities that trapping offers. And be sure to take a kid along on the line and always remember, let them be involved. Keep educating the ones who don't understand and be sure to respect the outdoors and the laws that protect the wildlife. Fur Kickers is brought to you by Interlock Broadheads, American made and deadly by design. Outdoor Edge Knives and Tools, Umarex Air Guns, Reveal Cellular Cameras, Fur Life, Luminox, Light em Up, Scent Thief, Black Widow Deer Lure, AMS Bow Fishing, and Mike's Archery, family owned for 50 years. Fur Kickers is proud to be partnered with